Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to start on this cedar and get it planed and ready for our doors and the top of our barn. So stay tuned. Let's see how much I can get done today. enough to do uh, the top of the doors. The top of the doors will be cedar and then the bottoms will be metal. Let me show you. This is how much <coughs> excuse me, I have planed. And so I think we're going to run them through a table saw to smooth the edges and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and seal them with polyurethane before we make the doors. So this is just the enough doors, I mean enough cedar to do the doors, not the top of the barn. Okay, let's take a break from um, planing and let's check on these girls um, here. The weather is going to change and come in raining tonight. And the temperature is fluctuating 50s and down to lows 30s at night. And with the weather change, let's hope these little girls keep those babies in there for another at least two weeks, at least till the 12th. That will be their first, uh, probably safe, safe days to have their babies. And the original due date is the 17th. But let's hope they stay in there. And uh, so we're going to have a lot of weather change coming in, raining uh, tonight. And then um, rain... To, uh, tomorrow the weekend's supposed to be cold come back in raining and really cold next week by next weekend I think the high is only going to be right at freezing so we are still working on the barn trying to get this north end um, closed up you know we we have the door which you can see behind me on this side this side facing the um, pins which is facing the uh, west, which will be okay if we don't get that door done. 
but we have got this north door here we have got to get up and get this uh, from the north wind coming in so let's check on the goats see how they're doing and make sure none of them is showing any progress right now let me turn you around here let's just go in so we can see them better all right girls how y'all doing are you keeping them babies in huh are you keeping those babies in there hey Zari, are you okay are you okay sweetie huh hey opal okay they all look okay i guess Zari, are you okay here baby huh you're just not going to get up okay all right let's okay everyone this girl here i think she's going to be our first one she has really getting a bag so i think she may be the first one on the list they look good there's our little box ashlyn's going to get rid of this one here she's keeping this one and we probably going to sell this one okay y'all look good and you girls look good too keep them babies in okay let's not have any changes during the weather all right hey girls y'all looking for any bugs i don't think there's bugs out today so let me show you the inside of the barn what we have done let me turn around i think we're get, we're going to have just doors that open up here that we can uh keep one shut and one open but anyway moved our feed barrels in and the hay which we have hay out in our uh tent shed out there but we're going to move it into this corner and build around here build around it where the goats can't get into it but Bruce's tractor's in the way. But anyway, this is the north door that we have got to close up. So we'll have a birthing pen here. This is going to be hard. And a birthing pen there. And then this little area here, I'm going to block in and have cabinets and a table. But then we'll have one, a birthing pen here and here. And this last one, we decided to put the... Um, the hay in and so now we just have to trim it out close up all these gaps and get our trim ordered but we got to do the corner trim and then i'll do the cedar up here and then we'll have the sliding doors on this side but yeah this is all almost ready for them i guess if they did birth early we could put a tarp over this door here I could tarp it off and put it a tarp but anyway and then we we're just going to put dividers up which that will not take very long at all so we could put the dividers up and we did have this these boards that were in our other shed that was left over from another job that we had done so we did just put them up uh, on the wall and over here we'll still have to put um boards up on that wall so that way when they push push on it it's not pushing the metal so yeah we're getting there <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh.